Hi, my name is Gary Coppich and I'm the Chief Exec of People's Voice Media. We're a community development organisation that uses social media to give local people a voice uh, in order to challenge perspectives and also to raise their own individual aspirations. One of the ways we do this is support residents to undertake dialogue and have conversations inside different communities. Here are some great videos to show you the sorts of things that we've done with housing associations. The noise from that place is horrendous. You can't have your windows open, it's going boom, boom. Boom. The service delivery process meant that we could actually use um, social media and use uh, People's Voice Media to work with the residents to do a letter. Um, but rather than traditionally having to write a letter and send it in, they were able to record it to camera and send it to our development officers who then could record a response. And they, in that way they could have a genuine dialogue. Today I'm directing questions to the man in charge of the Withing Grove Regeneration Project. Thank you for the early December newsletter. Now that we are in mid-February, we were concerned that we may have missed the January meeting due to bad weather. This has caused concern and worry amongst the residents. To allay these fears, in your reply would it be possible to lock down a schedule of meeting dates for 2010? It's fair to say that we have got a good community spirit, but it's a bit down in the dumps now. The uncertainty of not knowing what's going to happen and when has really put the dampers on things. It'd be nice if you could come up with some answers, even if they're only little answers, as to how much progress we are making. Thank you. I've been uh, looked up on your video, and I see I have a few questions there that you've asked me. Uh, it's really good. It's quite an exciting way of doing, do, doing a response. So I've got a few questions, that, and hopefully I've got a few answers for you, because this is now Friday the 26th of Feb. Um, next week is March, which is really scary, but within two weeks you'll have a schedule of dates for both the steering group meeting and you'll have an evening meeting set up for us to come up and see you face to face and have a chat again with you on that. So we've really used it as a both an engagement tool but also a consultation process to make sure that uh, residents' views were taken into account but also they were kept informed um, as the process went along. This is why I think it's good things like people's voice media that connects communities. Because they need a bit of hope, these kids. I know I sound like a preacher, <laughs> but they do need something that's not just making them doss every night out shops. There's something to talk about with this place being open. You know, when I see them in the street and that, making like films and interviewing people, they're all excited. Which is why I think it's good about the internet access and that, with the project going on up on the shops, because the kids can voice their opinions and say when they're not happy and that. Instead of, uh, they can go up there, have cups of tea, socialise, and it's interesting because it's where you live. I really hope you found the, the work that we've been doing with housing associations informative and useful. Please get in touch and we can explore ways that we can work with you.